Hey guys, it's Toby Price here. We're at my uh, garage here in Gold Coast, Australia. So uh, yeah, let's go for a little bit of a tour and I'll take you around. So basically here we've got a 1956 uh, two-door Chevy Bel Air um, being restored pretty much back to new, uh, new finish, new paint. We uh, got a new LS motor in it, so it's about 480 horsepower. It's uh, a lot of fun on the road, it's like trying to steer a ship, but uh, with a hell of a lot of horsepower. In behind that, uh, we've got a 1959 Ford F100. Uh, this thing's just my favorite because it lays out on the ground. Basically, the, the chassis is a tan brake. So uh, to my right here, we've got a 1956 uh, Ford F100 um, that I'm basically restoring uh, to put back to a bit of a show car condition. So this thing will become my, my new favorite once it's done. Uh, here in front of us, we've got a two-door, uh, two-seat Can-Am. Uh, here we've got four-door, four-seat Can-Am. Basically, we're prepping and getting ready for Fink, just to try and keep family and friends safe so they can join in, and then just when me and a mate can go riding. So here we've got the uh, Coyote motor that's going to go into the uh, 56 Ford F100. Um, we're going to put a Harrop supercharger on this thing, and this will get about 850 horsepower to the wheels, I think. So. This thing's going to be uncontrollable being it's so light in the rear end, but a hell of a lot of fun, that's for sure. Uh, through the window there, in here we've basically got a machine shop room, we've got lathes, we've got belt sanders, drills, um, presses, uh, rollers, um, everything you need, parts washers, so it's uh, trying to keep everything running and going smoothly. We've got a uh, KTM 690 Duke, um, just for a bit of road bike fun, just to go and get some bread and milk, or even the eggs. Um, come through into the front here. Uh, we've basically got a bit of a mix of everything. We've got a KTM 500 EXC, uh, my KTM 250 two-stroke. That's been big board to a 300 that I was talking about. This is my uh, practice rally bike that I've got. At the moment, I've got a friend's 125 and, a, and his uh, little son's 50 in here that I'm just prepping and keep myself uh, tinkering away, so it's, um, this is yeah, pretty much the motorcycle workshop for us. But uh, then we come back out through here, we've got all the gear wrench toolboxes. They look after us really well. So um, try and keep us all quite organized and cruising through. Um, same here, gear wrench, a couple of benches. So we've got the Red Bull fridge, of course, They're always stocked and keeping me uh, energized. Um, so this is uh, just the project that I'm gonna do as well. It's a 500 EXC that I wanna make into a cafe racer. So more to, on the list. Got my third place uh, Dakar bike that was in 2015, hangs on the wall there. So yeah, and then yeah, we've got the uh, Iveco Transporter for the Toby Price Motorsport Program. But then yeah, my two favorites, my prides and joys are these two on the wall here. 2010 Fink uh, Desert Race winning bike, which was my first attempt. And then my first Dakar winning bike in 2016. Um, these ones yeah mean the most, these are the ones that have pretty much cemented me into um, desert racing pretty, pretty heavily so hopefully I can add a few more of them ones at the top there and um, hang them up on the wall as well but besides all this craziness uh, the only thing that's missing from my uh, shop here is the new Tisco racing trophy truck so at the moment it's sitting in America, uh, we're looking forward to getting that thing here to Australia and uh, doing some events in it but um, yeah, that's pretty much my crazy life, all uh, locked in four walls, and um, hope you enjoy it. Uh, over and out, Toby Price Motorsport.